Hey bro, let me tell you my story. So it was around 2011 or 2012 and my dad wanted to buy me a PlayStation. We went to the electronics store and uh, he asked me, do you want to buy PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 2? Around that time, it, PlayStation 2 was still popular in my home country. So he asked me this and I thought to myself, well, PlayStation 3, 3 is more than 2, so PlayStation 3 is probably newer and better. And I choose that one. And um, we also we bought that. And we also bought two discs with it. So it was Madagascar 2. It's a game about the cartoon. And um, Battlefield 3. So since that day, I played video games probably every single day. Pretty much, yeah, for a couple hours at least. So I spend one year is uh, eight thousand five hundred hours. So I spent probably half a year of my life just playing video games. I played Battlefield. I played Battlefield Bad Company too. I played Battlefield Three. I played Battlefield Four. I played Battlefield One. I played every single Battlefield except for the most recent one, twenty twenty four. I did not play that. I mean twenty. 2042, yeah, and um, I played Hearts of Iron 2, I have more than more than 500 hours in there, and then I played Minecraft, obviously, and I played tons of games on PlayStation 3, and uh, PlayStation 3 does not count your hours, so I'm pretty sure I have more than 5,000 hours combined in all the games, so I spent tons of time on it, and uh, that's why in this video I feel it is important to talk about how video games are harmful. And not just talk about how video games are harmful, but you will hear it from a person who experienced all that, from me. I spent enormous amount of time playing video games. That's why I'm talking about this on the channel. Because this is important. I want to save people from playing, from wasting time on, on, on it. So yeah, let me finish the story, by the way. In 20, 2021, in the end, in the beginning, actually, in the beginning of 2021, actually, in the, in the end of 2020, I started thinking, like, I feel like a loser. Objectively, I am not very successful. I have decent grades, but not, not like the best. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have friends. Yeah, I... Uh, I, what everything that I'm doing is just playing video games every day for multiple hours. That's everything I'm doing. And so I started thinking, why am I, how, how did I end up here? Why am I in such a bad position? Why am I depressed at 14? I was, no, I wasn't 14. I was like 15 back then. And um, around that time, I also started watching YouTube videos on self-improvement. So that's hel that helped me a lot, actually. I started watching Hamza specifically. His videos helped me a lot. And so that's why I want to do with my videos also. But yeah, let's talk about the main topic of this video. How video games are harmful, specifically to the brain. Specifically to, um, like, if, you, if you're not talking about... Oh, that's the school bus. Sorry, my siblings got home. So if I'm not talking about that video games just eat your time, that you can spend on something more productive, how are they harmful in other ways? And so I'll start with explaining the thing that is called dopamine. Dopamine is a hormone in your brain that regulates your motivation. Like, let's say you want to do some stuff. Dopamine makes you want to do this. Because when you eat like some tasty hamburger or something, I often bring up hamburgers in my examples, but let's, let's say you eat some tasty hamburger. Your brain releases a lot of dopamine because thousands and thousands of years of years ago when humans were living in caves everything that gave you something everything that gave you dopamine was good and productive and uh, useful for you like eating a, a hamburger back then was very good but there were no gambr no hamburgers obviously so like eating a piece of meat was very very good for a human because well we need to eat to survive and um Sleeping was good for a human. Having sex was good for a human. So all these activities were good and productive and useful. 
And that's why they were rewarded, humans were rewarded with dopamine. But right now, humans created other activities, other stuff to hijack the system, to use it for just to get dopamine without actually, without a lot of effort. So they invented video games, they invented porn, they invented junk food, they invented a lot of other stuff like drugs and beer. This is also things that give you dopamine. And so when you're playing video games, video games give your brain a lot of dopamine, much more that you can give that you can get naturally from useful productive activities. Much more. That's why video games are addictive. People are addicted to this dopamine. Because video games, again, they give you crazy high levels of it. And so when you're constantly getting crazy high levels of dopamine, your brain thinks something is wrong. You are like, if you are constantly getting crazy high levels of dopamine, basically for your brain, you're standing on one place. You're not moving anywhere. Um, Even though, yeah, you are very successful, but you're standing on one place and your brain wants you to go further. So he adjusts the dopamine receptors and you actually need more dopamine now to get the same level of pleasure so let's me let me to recap this when you are getting high levels of dopamine your brain adjusts so that this high level this same level of dopamine gives you less pleasure this is very important to understand now because what this basically means is that when you're playing video games you become less sensitive to dopamine and you need to get more and more dopamine to get the same pleasure to feel the same motivation to do stuff that's why now let's say you played your video games you're playing them every single day do you think it won't affect you now do you think that you will still have the same drive and desire and motivation to do the stuff in real life or obviously you won't have such a high desire to do stuff in real life because why would you do this if it gives you less dopamine than video games the worst part is that video games can become not fun anymore and so you will not have motivation even to play video games that is called depression so people are getting depressed from video games because their brains are adjusting levels of dopamine they're they're adjusted to these high crazy levels of dopamine that they're getting from video games and now they cannot even Like, they are not motivated to do stuff in real life because it gives them less dopamine than video games. Much less. And even the crazy high levels of dopamine from video games don't give them much pleasure and motivation. That is actually crazy. When I learned this, bro, it all just started to make sense. How to fix this now? In order to fix this, you need to just stop playing video games. Your brain will... If you will stop getting dopamine at all your brain will naturally adjust the dopamine receptors and you will just get back to normal. That's why people recommend if you... There is such a thing, it's called video game depression or something like this, when games become not interesting. And people are usually recommended to just stop playing, do other stuff, and um, they will naturally become more interesting later. That is exactly what I'm telling you. So just stop playing video games at all. Don't play them. Uh, do other stuff. You you will not want to do other stuff, but you can try, right? Just try to do other stuff. Don't play video games. Maybe there will be some other interesting stuff you want. You will want to do. So do this. And um, yeah, that is the reason why video games are harmful to your brain, to your motivation, to your desire to do stuff. It's not that only they only eat time. Obviously, they eat time. If you did not watch my previous videos, I will tell you now that video games eat a lot of your time. Let's say you're playing one hour per day. Nobody plays one hour per day, but let's say you are. Like, exactly one hour. And now, let's say there's another there's other person who is not playing one hour per day. He's meditating instead. He will be much more fo- focused, happier, productive than you. He'll do everything better than you just because he spends time on meditation that actually gives him something good instead of playing video games. Now let's say he does not meditate, but instead he spends this one hour in the gym. He'll look much better than you. He'll be much healthier than you. So just don't waste your time on video games. First of all, as I said, as I just said, it harms your brain. Second of all, it just eats your time. You you spend time on something not productive, not useful. It just gives you nothing. Some people like my brother. My brother says that 
there are some benefits of playing video games, like skill, uh, like, sorry, reaction time, um, what else did he say? Reaction time, like strategic thinking, something like this, some bullshit like this. Why this bullshit? Because reaction time, seriously, the way you train reaction time is by playing physical games in real life. And um, the people who are playing these physical games in real life, like football, soccer, what's there? Badminton. I, I really like badminton. Try badminton if you did not. Um, if you're playing these games, you will be you will have much better reaction time than people who are training reaction time in video games. This is just bullshit. You will not train your reaction time significantly in video games. You need to train it in real life. Then gym also helps you to play video games better because when you train your hands and um, arms and uh, just your whole body in general, you're developing something that's called muscle and body connection. And um, basically, you learn how to use your muscles better, how to use them more precisely. And this helps you to aim better in video games, specifically in like FPS games. So spend time on this. Video games will not give you any significant, meaningful benefits. They will just eat your time. If you want some specific benefits from video games, just train for them, just spend time training for them specifically. Like, let's say you want to play Minecraft in German because you're learning German. That's what, that's what I did. But instead, I had much more progress in German. I did not have any progress in German from playing Minecraft with German. It's just bullshit. It doesn't work. I had significant progress in German only when I just went and studied it. When I actually learned stuff in German. When I read books, listened to podcasts, watched YouTube videos in German. But playing video games in German, yes, it may be, it, you may learn some couple words from it, but it won't be anything significant. In, besides that, you can, well... It can be significant if you are using it for to like to talk to natives in video games. Like let's say you're playing on a German server and talk to people, communicating with them. But why would you do that if you can just hop on a call with a native speaker and t talk to them like without playing anything? It will, it will be much more better for both of you because you're not distracted with playing something playing something. You're just talking. So I, I really cannot think of any significant benefit that video games give. So just forget forget that idea. It, it's not exist. It just does not exist. Benefits from video games. What a bullshit. So that's it for this video. I hope now you understand how exactly video games are harming your brain. And um, don't play this shit. Do something productive. I see you in the next one.